say, hold up, I'm in the clutch, I be, I be in the clutch, hold up, hold up, oh, sorry, yeah. right now I'm on A, turn up, turn up, turn me up, yeah. turn up. Yeah. Turn up. Yeah. keep dropping on friends, two, one, hold on, four, Hey, Yo, what's, what's the up deal? with it? ITC podcast in the building. You feel me? Episode forty six. Forty six. Goodness, man. Forty six of these things, man. Steady Back climbing here again. Yep. We ain't falling, but we going oh, up. I like that. Never fall. On a Friday. Yep. Oh, on a, on a nice chill Friday. Hopefully, yeah, everyone has an. I don't know when it's gonna upload, but. Whenever you see this, hopefully you had a good weekend. You know hey, what I'm saying? Yeah, facts. So facts. You hopefully it's this. not raining where y'all at because uh, yeah, yeah, we tired of it. We definitely had our days here. And we tired of it. Yeah, yeah big exactly. facts, yeah, man. It's kind of droopy oopy over here in Very. Houston. Yeah. I don't, um, people that plan on moving to Houston uh, don't. Like, yeah. Nah, <laughs> we can <laughs> say it. it floods bad. You know, Houston's good. Facts. You know, it's they not even flooding. Anyway. We got they too many people. Yeah, we got too many people. Too many people, man. 50 Cent here now, too? 50 Cent. Oh, my God, bro. Who else? Water about to come. A dollar. Man, you're stupid, bro. Look, I'm not. 45 already messed uh, up, man. Just not 45. <laughs> oh yeah, 45. Yeah, 45 like, state. Ooh, 288, crazy. 288, now. 288, yeah. 288 state, ugly. Right. Um, 16 always is. I don't think it's gonna ever. I 10 is hell. Six, uh, don't get me started on that. That <laughs> all time. We don't know these yep. random freeways they speak of. Yep. If y'all do movie Houston, y'all better learn y'all back streets. <laughs> Straight <laughs> up. Let y'all know that. <laughs> Oh, really? Cool. Just, that freeway ain't go, your friend. Don't go down certain back streets too late. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Mm-hmm. Like, damn, damn. Mm-hmm. I should have turned on way. Mm-hmm. Like, nah, yeah. bro. My destination is telling me to make a right on Scott. Ooh. <laughs> go all the way down till I get to the Beltway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make Definitely. that right. Drive That's straight a long through ride. Keep it's your doors locked. Long ride. That's Keep your doors locked for real. Treacherous. Yeah, Scott is a nice name, but it ain't a nice street. Yeah. So just... Waiting for you to stop at that red light. Ooh, I drive down it every day, though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, I did at one point. It's crazy. Because, you know, that's what I was talking about before, like survival. Like, is it racism or is it survival? You know what I'm that saying? That is survival. survival. Because mm-hmm. I know the hood. Yeah, you and know, I mean, you know, there. you know where you at. I made yeah. sure, you know, when you click your lock and it already is it's already locked and you do that little, <laughs> you can do it again. You make sure the double lock. I do it three times. <laughs> <laughs> I do the little key jiggle every time I leave, uh, leave my crib. I make sure it's locked. I do the little key yeah. jiggle. Gots to, bro. You, got to, yeah. you gotta, you gotta have that yeah. type of precaution. You know, it's sad to say anywhere, but, bro. You know, the, anywhere. the suburbs to the hood, man. You just yeah. don't know because so, you never know who watching, yeah. never know who plotting. So yep. it's it's definitely. I wouldn't say uh, a racist thing when you see someone shifty walking around yeah. late at night. You know, you're gonna be mm-hmm. cautious of it because, man, why you why you walking around this hundred degrees? I guess outside that's what I'm saying, with like, a hoodie right? on. With a hoodie on. With a hoodie. Right? What I you just, doing, I mean, bro? Like the real shade. Exactly. Not everything is racism. Hey, yeah, a hoodie and a trench coat, man. Hey, mm. <laughs> you know what? I saw one a <laughs> few weeks ago. It was oh, especially it was, a trench coat. It was a it was a white male. The trench coat is already. He just had a skeptical. trench coat on. He was walking, and the haircut looked a little 1995ish. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> Where I'm driving, and I'm just like, you know. That boy said he got that full house. And I'm like, what? why is he, what is he about to, I'm sorry. It's just like, but that's, that's survivalist. See? It's not racist. It's not racist. It's, it's, not. Trench it's survival. Coach, trench, yeah, it, trench coats give me bad vibes, 80 man. degree weather. Where the hell are you going with that? Hey, I had Either a trench you coat. joining in the porn or are you about to do some illegal <laughs> exactly, stuff? Exactly, <laughs> yeah. I had a trench coat incident at the gas station. At the boy, that's and the, buddy mm. came in there and I just threw the rest of my change. Like, <laughs> nah, fam, wow. keep the change. Five on eight, man. I'm getting out of here. You got it. I'm damn right. But <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir, you don't want your change? Are you that's good, cool. man? Yeah, yeah. keep good. the change. Put a little, change. little charity pot right yeah, there. Yeah, put yeah, a little, little tips. <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know what I'm tipping you. For, but sir, I, don't know I what really it is. think you need your change. Nah, no, I'm, nah, I'm good, good, man. Shit, come on, you're gonna need it. Exactly. At this point, I don't care. Texas Children's Hospital. I don't care. Just take it. It's hot as hell, man. He like, but you got twenty dollars. Don't worry about it. Keep the change. Bro, <laughs> I got how go. many times I got to tell you, I'm keep here. the change as you drive off. I'm going. I barely pumped all You're the like, damn. You left your twenty, and I was watching him too. It was like nighttime, like maybe it's, yeah, bro, nine. You know what I'm saying? And he come in, it's hot. Mm. You know, it's Houston at night. So mm. it's yeah, yeah. Hell. don't let him be on drugs. Yeah. I'm black be hella trench coat. Uh, oh. black oh. trench. Where? Oh, that's the noise. When that's they walk. next level. Yes, yeah, <laughs> don't let him be on drugs, man. I used to hop on the metro bus, and you, you know, in the back, man, you always the, got that weirdo in the back of the metro bro, bus, metro, and he just be back there like. You gotta entertain. Just, yeah, I'm three a, years I'm ago, a, I, I rode I, the metro <laughs> bus for the first time in like since as a kid, uh-huh. and. I don't want to be, you know, stared. So I'm like, man, this is the bus, man. It's public transportation, man. It's good. 
That's your piss talk before you got on the bus? It really was. Okay. Yeah, it was, It got to be. He pissed this one guy, all of a sudden, he started talking and stuff like, yeah, they know they know I cause trouble, man. So you know what? Anybody, <laughs> anybody ask for me, it's on. I was like, uh, oh. please, man. I'm trying to get to work. <laughs> and they say, please, man. And I'm like, why? Are, bro, who? nobody made him mad. That's the crazy part. I'm like, he made me. <laughs> he was, I don't know if he was maybe schizophrenic somebody or something. Made I, mean, him I don't mad. know. Somebody. In yeah. Head. And I'm like, oh, my God. Bus man. driver's just like, goddamn, Leon. I would deal with this shit every Jesus. time. I'm like, Lord, <laughs> no, Leon, Leon, get on. Man, they had this one dude back when I was in like elementary because I used to ride the metro to my uh, elementary school with my brother and my older cousin like every day. And so we drive, we ride from Acres Home to Studio Wood. Mm. That's, I'm from the north side. So sorry, so, man. We go from we go from one side. You drive to 44. Pause on that part, though. That's uh, where I was coming from, though. Acres Home. You drive to 44. Oh. Poor that's you, that's man. the bus you drove, yeah. and then um, you hop on it, and there's this one guy that always got on free when I was in elementary school, wow. but he was on drugs every time, and the dude would be like, you know where to go, and the dude go to the back, and he just start talking, and he'd be like pulling the damn thing. Damn boy no say, you know where to go. He used to pull the damn thing. He's like, what did I tell I don't remember the dude name, but I'm going to just call him Daryl. He's like, Daryl, <laughs> what did I tell you? Because he'd just be pulling it. <laughs> No, <laughs> See, that's, nah, bro. And y'all gotta sit on there early in the morning, tired. Yep, and hear somebody. Bobby and that bitch sleep. Like after a while, you get so used to it, you just you fall asleep. Yeah, you got your normal. Right. Right. Like I get on that wall, like I get on the window real quick, and I just be like, "All right, Daryl gonna be in here at some point. Man. I'm good. All right, no Daryl. Once Daryl <laughs> nah, get in there, bro. and then he get off that's at his it. stop right before my school. It'll be like two stops before my school. He get off, and then. Then I get dropped off. But Shout I, out to the bus driver though. I hope man. different, oh, yeah. man. Y'all some y'all the some bus soldiers. driver would wait for us after a while though, like because he, no, you know, he starts seeing his dope. regular faces. He'd just wait. Community. I wonder man. how much yeah, bus drivers get paid yeah. to to tolerate that. I think they get paid. They get paid pretty good. Oh, yeah, right. they, they, they have to, man. I don't think they get paid enough. Yeah, they should yeah, probably get yeah. paid a little bit more. Like but I do know, like they use they're usually there for years. They gotta see a lot. My brother, my brother did it for about a year because my brother did pretty much everything. I'm not gonna lie. He's like one of them secret agents, low key. But uh, he's the Lanell. He's had at least, mm-hmm. bro. You he's ain't had lying. that many jobs. Lanell worked everywhere. Yeah, that's my brother. That boy is construction. He working on becoming a police officer right now. He's been he's security, bro. No, a firefighter, not a police officer. He's been in security. He's been at the Federal Reserve. Also, Car- man, Julius from uh, everybody hates Chris, man. bro. Car- he's worked Car- everywhere. Car dealer, bro. I-, I lost count, bro. So <laughs> when he worked at does, bro. when he worked for Metro, he drove the Metro Rail, and mm-hmm. then supposedly somebody had he how he ended up leaving the job. He ended up. Uh, hitting somebody Oh damn uh, No he actually left A little bit after that He stayed, They kept him on but What happened was The person just stayed On the track And he can't You can't just stop A metro rail Just It don't just stop Yeah it don't So right. the person Just sitting on the track And he's like I can't I can't do nothing And oh, then he just damn. Boom Right into him Damn, damn. I was like Damn And he's like I mean they can't stop it like that. Yeah, you can't Like you trying yeah. to You gonna actually Probably call He more couldn't do accident. nothing he yeah. couldn't do anything. Like they, by the time, like he he like by the time they pulled in, it was only so much time you you got to stop. You have right. to stop like su- such a long distance ahead yeah, of yeah, your yeah. stop mm-hmm. that even like if he started, train. he was gonna hit him regardless. Yeah. Basically, so I think he had, he was like I put put on the emergency stuff and it was still like going. I can't stop it. Right. Like it's just gonna keep all the way down to him. And if they don't move, they just gonna get hit. It ain't like Man. you can hop off the tracks real quick. Yeah. Right. He, so he was like, I just had to brace for impact. I was like, damn. <laughs> I was like, damn. Crazy, man. That's crazy. It's bro. hella crazy. And then I know seeing something like that, man, you just like probably scarred and stuff. And you like, man, hey, I can't deal with this no more, man. This ain't my line of work. So let me go yeah, ahead. Like, man, fuck that. <clears throat> yeah, I can't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, so Brandon, where were we, man? I think it was, I think we were on Richmond. And I don't know if you were there. You had to be there. It was late. Probably was. And um, I don't know if it was the IHOP or the Denny's on Richmond. <laughs> but we was all in there. And we was just kicking it on a number night, just doing random stuff in the city. And there was a crazy dude who walked in. You know how we was always getting on people yep. that came in different establishments. So the dude um, Yo, people was watch. like really tripping out. And we was like, man, what the hell wrong with this nigga? And Y'all so, be in there people watching? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we were kids, bro. We just we did know. that off the Diddy's oh, no, all, man. We, all the time. Man, there's a spot in at UTSA, um, like right in front of the library. You would sit and you would just watch people because it was a lot of weird yeah. individuals at, it, on and, campus. And that's the same thing. And we weren't even familiar with being in that area. I think we just came from one of the spots we was at yeah. or chilling somewhere. And we just ended up going there. And then, um, I mean, we were just seeing the dude. We had ate and the dude just started like talking. 
Mm-hmm. Like he just started like kind of tripping out, and we were just like, "Yo, like you know, we already young and just tripping, <laughs> yep. so we needed some footage like that." And then you know, next thing you know, we like, "Oh, look at this nigga, man! Look at this nigga tripping." <laughs> and like, so the females and stuff with us was laughing. You know how people laugh when you can hear them. Yep. So, oh, that's but it wasn't like that pointing at him laugh. It was just like laughing. Yeah. And so the dude, he was like. He got on the phone. He's like, "Yeah, man, because niggas think I'm playing. Yep. Niggas think I'm playing. Niggas I'm, think I'm playing. Hell nah. You remember that? Yep. And then he, uh, he was like, "All right, all right." Then he walked outside. Uh oh. And then he came back in. He was like, "Yeah, that's all right. Niggas think you're funny. Niggas funny." And then so he he hopped on his phone and he was like, "Yo, pull up, cause uh, boys think it's a game out here, <laughs> something like that." And so what the it started hell? to piss me off, cause I'm like, first of all, like nobody even like. <laughs> It ain't even that serious, but he was already crazy. So yeah. everybody was like, "Yo, it's time to dip. Like, it's yeah. time to get the fuck up out of here." Take the grand slam to go, man. Like <laughs> he yeah. said, the grand slam to go, bro. No, I ought to like yeah. this it's man tripping. Me, but right. I was just like, man, whatever, bro. I'm gonna go ahead and leave because yep. like you don't, we don't know where we at. We don't know who he calling. So he mm, probably just, tripping for real. Yeah, like for yeah. real, for real. And you know, you know, never never know if he really called somebody or not. But it was just one of them. Like people would really be gone. No, yeah, I right. know you deal, with, you deal with a lot of them in hospitals and in that like, story that reminded me of top. <laughs> we we were going to uh, dreams. I was showing my uh, cousin. I think we was in that area. <laughs> we were, it's always that area. Dreams. Always exactly. we was off we was off West Timer and dreams, uh, legends. Yep. Mm-hmm. We was getting ready to go to uh, right, dreams to uh, show my cousin from Arkansas a little. You know Houston, oh, look, Houston stuff. And then, well, you ain't saying nothing up there, boy. Let me show you what's real. Yeah, basically, <laughs> oh my god, yeah. <laughs> he uh, <I'm> moving. <laughs> we we stopped at the light, and then this crackhead dude. I don't know if he was on crack or meth, heroin, whatever he was on. One of the drugs. He's he on something. He yeah. steps in front of the uh, our car, and he starts yelling. He's like, he's like, ah, ah, like <laughs> tripping. It's like a. It was like a white dude with like you know how they be doing dread. Like some white people put, yeah. put like dread. He I had like half dreads, like, half just them. long hair. It was it was all over the place. Gotcha. And so he Man, like had precious. shorts on with like a sock <laughs> and like no sock, no shoe, no shoe or nothing on on the other side. It was just barefoot. It's crazy, and, uh, man. He came out and he had like this little raggedy white t-shirt and the, uh, cargo cargo khaki pants. I remember it really well because he was like, you, ah, you can't forget ah, it's distinct. Now. Exactly. Yeah. No, it's very distinct because I'm. <laughs> Parked right here by this bus station, in the bus stop, and he's just like he just walks out of nowhere. I was like, "Where the fuck did he come from?" And he just got in the line. It's like, okay, so the Galleria, right here. Yeah, we're at that light before mm, you get to I the see Galleria. A lot of them like that. Exactly. Yeah, like that. So like he just steps in front, starts yelling, and he's like, "What the fuck you wanna do? What the?" Like he just starts <laughs> oh, looking at our car, nah, and he like tried to hit my hood. I was like, "This nigga tripping." So, <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Something like crazy. You, you, you can't so, uh, you can't want to fight with them because they so already as drugs, soon as it so. goes green, bro, I go like back up, like because yep. it's not that many people on the road at this time. It was kind of dark. It was kind of late, mm-hmm. but at the same time, it was like a Saturday or something, so it was still kind of busy. But I had enough space. And it's like, West Timer. Mm-hmm. Oh, West, yeah, that, that's. Yeah. Okay. I had sleeps. enough space to go and go, <laughs> and I went left. And he's like trying to like hit the car. I'm yeah. like, hell no, bro. <laughs> we jump around this dude, and then he started messing with somebody else. He turns around, he moons. The people behind us. Bro, yeah. I was like, oh, nah. hell no, nah, bro. This, this dude <laughs> out on of here. shit. Yep. <laughs> Definitely out of there. I mean, that's that's the crazy that people got to deal that's with. That's West Timer, folks. It's like, ah, you know, like some of these yeah. cops be having to deal with some man. crazy yeah, people. Man. Like just the, the bro, like some of the conversations that I've had with some of them. like Working this, at Bucky's. I know. Ooh. Overnight. Oh, yeah, the weirdos you see, bro. <laughs> exactly. so man, what is, the, what is the trick to the toilet, the restroom? Is there any secret? So, so at Bucky's, you, you have to put. <laughs> <they> just, <laughs> so at Bucky's, that you have to clean up, like clean up the bathroom every like two hours or something okay. like that. Yeah. And so then on top of that, they have a certain way you have to put your toilet paper in there. Like mm-hmm. all the toilet paper goes, I think it's over. It's supposed to go over in the in the in the bathroom. Mm-hmm. It can't go under, or they will get mad at you. Like Damn. legit mad. I think it's I think it's that way. It's over. Yeah, and it's That's supposed to go over or whatever. <laughs> yeah, and um, <laughs> all you under people, I don't know what's, what's yeah, it's weird. And, and they'll get mad. And so like you have <laughs> to do that. You have off. to make sure it's clean every two hours. And then during this period, like that, like you can't have your phone at all except for if you're in the bathroom. So like I hold my phone. Just so I could go to the bathroom and right. then I just sit on the toilet for a minute so I can give me a bre- uh, break on my feet. Because, bro, you standing, standing up, up exactly. the whole time. Yeah, yeah. And you don't get, like, no crazy long break. Like, you only get maybe a 30-minute, maybe, you know. Damn. Like, thir- like that's if, if, if stuff's not going too crazy. And then, like, at 
overnight you're gonna see the same people a lot of the times because that's like the people that work on the trains the yeah. bus station stuff like right. that like it was one dude this older guy he used to be in there drunk every drunk three in the morning yeah oh, three in the morning larry he, go home man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see this this the crazy part though he he was a uh, like a conductor like he he drove trains mm. so he he'd be like i need to be you know on my level when i drive my train <laughs> i'm telling train so he wow. come up he come in oh, you got the horn on, he turns bro. left he would always come to me because I was the one brother at the th- like I was one of the brothers. Oh, at man, he the, black dude. Yeah, man, black on, dude God. coming there. His him and his son, you him and his son both uh both did the train business or whatever. His son stayed at the station, but he actually drove. That's and, dope. Um, mm-hmm. and so he come son, in. Son. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he put his son on. They basically like they were running up in there. It's good money. I mean, oh, like, oh yeah. yeah, but of yeah, course is, you yeah. working there for. And then mm-hmm. half of them on call, so you like you get called at like two in the morning, because mm-hmm. he was I trying to put me to on. Know how it was like with the conductor life? Like mm-hmm. I just would see him over there off of Macau, yeah. mm-hmm. and I would just see him going back and forth. I'm like, man, it looked like it's shitty in there, like just in that little area. Based on his explanation, that's what I got. And his son didn't like it that much, but he was like, the money good. So, and yeah. I don't got a family. I was starting a family, so I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, not the right. I don't yeah, know about yeah. this. I, I wasn't necessarily with one, but I knew I was about to have one. So I was like, I'm not about to do this. Right. And mm-hmm. then, so he'd come in and he'd get, he'd always get coffee, but he'd put it in his alcohol. So like, <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> he'd go over there. And he he'd having like, a casual conversation oh, while doing that too, probably. That's and so cool. like, he'll catch me either, because I was always the coffee cleaner, because none of them liked doing it, but I was, I enjoyed it, because I get away from everybody. I didn't have to talk to people at the counter. Right. And I don't like, like, I'm- I'll, I'll be, I'll do I'm something an, like that. I'm an introvert, but I can be I social. Would. I'm talk, the same and, way. And talkative. The same so way, like, brother. Yeah. When I'm tired of talking to people, I'm like, brother. I'm about to go clean up the coffee. Like I just clean it up for no reason. Like I just right. go break it down. Get away like, from cool. these people, man. Yeah. These humans. But none of them, none of them like to clean up the coffee. So that's what made it so easy for me to do that because they was like, he likes it. Shoot, yes, we right. got somebody. But I liked it because I could get away and then I could do that and then they go fold clothes and clean bathrooms and stuff. Right. But I was like, screw all Bucky's that. Bucky's is like the Walmart. Of it like, really is. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. Road trip. And so right. I go over there and then usually dude would pop up like around the time I clean it and he just come talk to me. He'd be like, He's like, you got the, uh, what was that? He used to get French vanilla. You got the French vanilla there ready for me? I was like, <laughs> I got you, man, because he'd get the cappuccino a lot, mm-hmm. and then he'd mix it with the coffee and then have the alcohol in it. I was like, oh, you would be, he'd be on one, one, bro. That's old school. Yeah. And then you know what's crazy? They'll drink. They hard out and then be up at five in the morning to go. To yes, mm-hmm. that's how a yeah. lot of like. And he was always on time. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy to me, bro, because when I, yeah, I had to like chill whenever we drunk. I had to relax. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ain't no way I can get up and just go drive a train <laughs> a whole exactly. at train. four in the morning. And it, it make me think, because I don't think we ever caught checkout time on time. Ever. Uh-huh. In any hotel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we ever caught checkout time. I don't time. recall. Shit. I don't either. Like, I don't know how many times we got phone calls. Always got a knock on the door. I'm like, damn. Get your ass from out a party, of my room, From right? a party. I'm not going to say right. any other incident, but from a party, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't recall. They've been, time, they've been banging in the door, and we actually still sleep. <laughs> and at this point, they about to charge us another night. Ooh. Me, and I'm I, like, I don't know who you charging, but that card ain't gonna work. So, <laughs> bro, I, I was hold on, player. Everybody hates Chris, Dad, but I'll be like, shit, we got to get up out here at 11, 11 o'clock. I'll be out here at ten fifty nine. Like we been mm-hmm. out nope. right on time, but I'll come back to the room and stuff later. Yeah, but I'd bro, already nobody like <laughs> going in there right now. Exactly, you always had time, so I would check out, but and then, then go I'd, back. I'd still be yeah. in the room a little longer, but. Yeah, I wasn't paying no extra. We had this dude at Bucky's that washed his car every day. Damn. And I mean every day. That's like crazy. It could be a storm. He would wait for it to stop <laughs> and wash that hoe. That's some that's some like car. Bro, his was so clean, bro. He had a uh, Chrysler 300, and this hoe was so clean. It was a white one. I was like, bro, you got a white car, too. Like, so <laughs> it's easy to spot the dirt on that. I can't spot nothing on this. I'm glad they did those because the Magnums, you know, they was cool, but then niggas mm-hmm. started getting carried away because, you know, right. they wanted a Phantom, but they couldn't really have a Phantom. So mm-hmm. that was like a hood version of like yeah, yeah, being that top, and then they would candy right. paint it, put mm-hmm. the rims and swings on it. Yep. And, you know, yep. they just thought they was the shit. Yep. <laughs> Facts. I don't know how many Magnums I've seen in my day. It was candy cool. paint swinging. <laughs> like, swinging in the I line. mean, yep. shit, my barber used to have a uh, Magnum, actually, now that I think about it. He had a every, great one. Barber. Every barber is kind of yeah, associated with some type of hood. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, he from Herm Clark, so. You know. mm-hmm. Oh, that makes Yep, that yeah. sounds Shout out about, to Herm Clark, you feel me? That sounds Ooh, about right, time. man. 
To be honest work. with you, that's tough. Barbers are are, are therapists. You know what I'm saying? Like when they come to, sometimes you just need to get away yeah. from from the crib or whatever you're dealing with. You just came go in yesterday. To, exactly. Yeah, go to the yeah, shop. Right. You know what I'm saying? You talk up. sports, talk whatever. But you know, a lot of times, a lot of people confide into they uh, they barber, especially if you've mm. been around them yeah. for exactly. many many years. Yeah, you know, yeah. You, they know how you like your cut and stuff like that. You'd be like, hey, man, so what should I do, bro? So here's the thing. Yep. <laughs> and yeah. they be in that. My talk barber, to me, bro. Talk to me. <laughs> bro, talk real, to man. <laughs> I've been with my barber since seventh grade. Um, as of recently, it hasn't been as much because, you know, I've been baldy. But because um, <laughs> I've been cutting it myself. But right, when right. I do feel like going in there, I'll just pull up and just get him to cut it all off for me just right. so I can talk. Cause he he was like an uncle low key to me, so yeah, like exactly. mm-hmm. right. he, he was yeah. basically a gangster uncle, basically. Right. Cause he's he was he was super super gangster. But uh, don't worry about that nephew. I got you. Basically, yeah. right. sometimes he, them the day, sometimes them the best therapists, man. Right. Yeah, he, he just yeah. tell me some real shit, and I'd be right. like, damn, I didn't even think about. But he's you like, know what's the dopest thing about them? Right. Them gangster ones, they they always want better for you. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, cause mm-hmm. I remember the bar that I was going to when I was at U of H. They were, hey man, keep doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like they was right off of. Uh, yep. Um, what was that? MLK, MLK? yeah, MLK, okay. right there by uh, I probably the, know what you're talking that about. That little food spot, mm-hmm. it, it was like a soul food spot, mm-hmm. Sheffield. You had the cleaners across the street, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And so, um, like none of that's there no more, yeah. Like, I mean, they cool, crazy. but you know, they always just you know kind of want the best for you. I used to go mm-hmm. get a haircut before class, so the crazy thing is. He used to be late. I used to be up before him. I'm like, hey, man, right. I'm trying to get it. It's Friday, man. Like, <laughs> I got a 10 o'clock class. And I would push my classes late so I didn't have to wake up early. That's one mm-hmm. thing my barber was not. That man would be like, I'd pull up. He'd be like, I was waiting on you. Bro, I, I would pull that, up. That cake. Uh, it, it got to that point. It got to that point to where I could walk in that bitch. And uh, I wouldn't even call ahead of time. But he'd be, he had three heads ahead of me. He'd be like. He'd be like, oh, yeah, you you up right now. Like, somebody would be getting out the chair. Yeah, like, yeah you up right I, now. I that. <laughs> and I'd be like, yeah, that's right. He's My barber like, used to do that with people he didn't like that came. Damn. Oh, he, <laughs> oh don't like let that. it be somebody he didn't like. He might make three people skip him. Bro, oh, I, no, they got three ahead of you. Hey, man, they called, man, they called do, me. He, called nah, he did this to this guy. Call. This dude walked in because um, uh, I think that's when he moved. He moved like, uh, moved stations to, like, by the Buffalo Wild Wings over there of 518. Okay. Mm-hmm. He moved across from that. And so when he moved over there, he um, I had, I had came in one day and then I just walked in because the room was empty and I sat in a chair and the dude came in. He was like, "Oh, I thought I was next." Oh and then, <laughs> no, not the I thought I was next, <laughs> man. And he bro. was like, "Now nah, you got two ahead of you," <laughs> knowing that the dude just called him while I was in the chair with him. So, question: <laughs> Since you said that, what, what you no, go ahead because I'm probably it might be relatable to what you about to say. Well, I was gonna say, what is your back in the day for all this appointment shit? Mm-hmm. What is your eye number where you just wasn't finna get a haircut with oh. the with the number of hairs ahead of you? What what's a feasible number that you was like, all right, I'll wait for that? Or what was the number where you was like, hell no? Nah, like, Are you talking about like so like let's when, say when, when I was adult or when I was like a kid? Because if I was a kid, my dad be like, you gonna wait? Nah, when yeah. you was able <laughs> to drive, <laughs> really what it was. right? Right when we was able to drive, okay, because we was on that cusp of going to the shop before they start doing this appointment thing, crazy. Yeah. I call them, so I call them. Cause mm-hmm. my situation was different, so like I never had a, seventh grade. Yeah, I never had a situation where it was too many ahead of me. He'd be like, "Come on up." Okay. Like, right. He would say, "Oh, it's five, but come on up." Like that's what he would say. Oh, okay. I pull up, and then I knew that four people were still ahead of me because I he he would just be on right. that first dude. Like they walk in probably right before me. But then you would just and go. then he'd be like, "Oh yeah, he had an appointment." And so, like, <laughs> he would push them out the way and then <clears throat> give me a cut. So, so if you wasn't, what would be your number? Where you like, yeah, hey, I'm just. When I was on. younger, I remember my dad <laughs> did take me away one time when I when they said he had because this one he was in the barbershop full of like it was like six of them at that time. They had different rooms or whatever, and they were all in this one shop. And at that time, he'd be like, <clears throat> "This is when I was trying to find seventh grade. I was trying to find the one yeah, the I barber, wanted." Yeah. Right. And so at that point, I was only trying to get the guy who was the name of the barber. It was Trey Showroom. Mm-hmm. And so when I was, tr- Don't I was trying everybody to everybody try to go to the main. Yeah, yeah I was trying to go to one, the main. Yeah. It's his shop, so he but you know be that <laughs> one never wants to be yeah. there. He only has like these specific hours. Boy, yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know how it is. Specialty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so That's when. My pre- Previous barber was just like that. That's how it is, yeah. though. When it's they, I feel scared, when it's they shop, I don't want it's like that. Oh, that's how you feel me. Yeah, yeah just like 
And so the homie, bro, when it was so hard to get him, I had to figure out which side barber would I join, like go uh, yeah. go to. I went to one dude. This dude oh, is crazy because this dude was talking to a chick that was in high school with me. I was in high school wow. at this time. Okay. Well, so we can right. past no, that. I wasn't yeah, in high school. I was in middle sicko school. Sicko mode. I was in middle school. Wow. But I remember it because sicko. I didn't see podcasts not on uh, any time. It's, <laughs> it's really creepy because <laughs> I think I think now he actually like talks to her. It's super weird. Yeah, sicko super weird. mode. Yep. <laughs> but um, sicko mode. Uh, he was great cut, but he had a lot of stuff going on. He was like on some real life R. Kelly shit for real. Mm-mm. Like it had to be some real life R. Kelly shit. Hold on. Anyway, just bit. talking about these motherfuckers. <laughs> the barber I did go to, mm-hmm. that dude, he was cool, but he had like some R. Kelly shit going on. So yeah. it was kind of weird. And my dad was like, I don't really like you going to him type thing. Yeah. He had a weird vibe about him. So it was never a number. It was just more like. Yeah. And then on top of that. To, to top it off, during that time, I'm about to show my age a little bit, but during that time, that's when uh, they had the Madden with uh, Michael Vick on it. I think it was 04. Ooh, uh, yeah. Oh, when was, that Madden, yeah. and I was cold as hell at Madden at that time. So I'd just be beating people in the uh, little lobby. Oh, room. you good then, yeah. That's so when I, I was interested in Madden. That's when I used to watch the Madden tournament on Same, TV. on G, mm-hmm. G, uh, uh, G14. Whatever the one that and one to come on. Um, um, yeah, that one. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I used to watch it too. Uh, yeah, G four, G four. Yeah, yeah. Whatever it was. I don't know what happened to that man. I don't. I know it just went off the year. It, it, yeah, oh, was it wasn't one. But yeah, um, <laughs> I had um, he was playing 04 I Madden. was cool with staying some days because if they had the, Madden, if they exactly. had the system there, I'd be like, shoot, let me just play some Madden while I wait. Yeah, right. um, and then so then you good. we moved to another dude, light skinned dude. He was uh, he was cool, but he had like baby mama drama, and then he ended up leaving. See, and so, boy. so it was like I lost him. So I was like, "Damn, who do I got?" So and then one yeah. barber the guy who replaced him was the barber I have now. <clears throat> and so he was in that room, and he was just the chillest dude. He just didn't like this bald headed ass dude. When they, <laughs> so they knocked down the walls, and then he had to be next to him. You had to see him. <laughs> and so, and he was real. So he let him know how he felt right there. Damn. So it, they'd be in the damn shop. He'd be upset, and he'd be. Cut my hair like that, man. Why you cut my hair all angry and shit? You know, and then he'd be like, "Hey, man, like, hey, hey, I told you, da 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 da." You know, when you a kid, you listening to everything. Yeah, there. you in the hell. You like shit. You a sponge, like, bro. And he'd yep. be like, "Yeah, yeah, I, I fought this bitch the other day, da, 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 da. bro." You know, you just hearing all this stuff. <laughs> you like that the barbershop? Sometimes lit. you be hearing what some incriminating shit that you don't want to hear, no bro. Like, bro. Mm-hmm. Yo, I, I, I man, bro. <laughs> That's why I'm saying, like, you know, I've been to a few barbershops. It's crazy because yeah. I've even got my hair cut in the flea market before. Oh, they, you have too? Yeah. Me too. You never knew that? No, I knew, yeah. I you know, they, had the, they had the, the little barbershop. The, 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 the Kings, yeah. Kings, Kings, Kings had flea yeah. Back when it was. And I knew King. What is it now? Is it still King's King Plaza or something like that? It's I think like, they it's, it's basically still the same. Half. It's still the same thing. Yeah, it ain't they nothing moved like how it used to be. Like, it's behind them high rises mm-hmm. or whatever. But yeah, man, I got a haircut in there before. I have too. I've been to quite a few places. But you got a number? Like the way you three you would go? have to be pushing it, like for some reason. <laughs> okay. Yeah, three is a sweet spot. Three isn't like you know. Three is definitely bad, but then nice again, spot. It, also depends, it depends on the time you go to. Yeah, three's a sweet but spot. the thing about me is when <laughs> I caught on like real quick. Like even if they say it's your turn, you know, you up next. You never know. I was never that type of guy. Like as soon as that the guy get up was like, be, yeah, get up to him. Yeah, like, I nah. didn't either. Yeah. I wait till the dude. You know, he has. You know, he has the mm, cover. Got and he's a dab about to, up. Yeah, oh, dad, I, I still be mm-hmm. and I act like I'm. I'm, I'm trying to act oh, like I'm not sweet. staring at the barber. I'm just like. <laughs> Hey, you actually reminding me. You're like, all right, bro. I'm like, okay. That's you funny. Know, you actually reminded me because. Making eye contact. Right, yeah, because I'm like, I don't want nobody else to just. Because, bro, you said I was next, you know, so I don't want this random Facts. dude to you know, just get I've up. Done that bro, that used I got to be up. hella awkward, too. Yeah, that is an awkward That's moment. why. you first that, Oh, you, not you. Not yet. Yeah. Oh, and you get up and you're like, oh. Yeah, I'm just right. stretch. I'm eager. Exactly. I'm eager. I'm eager. I'm eager. <laughs> right. Get up and stretch real quick. For real. <laughs> no, nah, but I had um, a bit. <laughs> I tried this other barbershop during. I think uh, my dad was like, "Nah, you ain't waiting there this long. So we are gonna go to this other barbershop. Try right. another one since uh, you're. Uh, that's when I had already found my barber. He was like, "Your barber ain't there. Let's just go find another mm-hmm. one. Yeah, Went to right. this other one. Need a replacement just in case. Further yeah. down, five eighteen, <clears throat> and I hated that barbershop to the max because like. They were all right with the cut. The cut was okay. But mm-hmm. it was like they were making fun of me the whole time. And I was like, and I was young at that time. So I was kind of, I think this is about the time I was in eighth grade. So I was like, why y'all keep like 
talking shit. Like right. they were saying stuff, you know, Damn. about me. But I wasn't used to the barbershop, so I'm kind of, you know, a little shy in there. Not yeah. Really, yeah. You know, comfortable moving around in there. And then he was like, and I was like, uh, can I can I use the phone? He was like, yeah, you can use this one. I, I remember this shit really well because of how what they like they were like just it's grilling. Distinct. Me. Cause mm-hmm. I had I grabbed the uh, the phone. They had a little like you know land landline phone, mm-hmm. and I grabbed it. And I'm like typing in the number like this. And he was like, "Oh, look at that boy. He used two hands to type his phone, bro." I remember this because I was like, <laughs> "Why is that a joke?" Like, and they all laughing. I'm like, "What's so they fucking funny about it?" Of course. Mm-hmm. How old were you? I'm eighth grade. Oh, it's time to light them niggas up. Yeah, they, yeah I'm <laughs> like, hold on. At least I got a phone. <laughs> <laughs> now at that time, you still got that landline. At that time, Ooh, I was like, to this day, I don't know none of you niggas. So I was like, yeah, okay. I, I was like, oh, okay. And then I, I like, I, I called my mama and them, and I was like, blah 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 blah. Mama, Pick me yeah, up. Give me and I walked stuff. outside. I was like, I'm not sitting here no I more. Talking about a kid. Yeah. yeah. It was just weird because I, I felt like I was getting ganged up on by like grown right. ass men. So I was like, this is weird as fuck. It's punk ass nigga. And I told my, I, I hopped yeah, in the yeah. car. I was like, don't bring me back over here. Why? What happened? Just oh, don't yeah. bring me back. Oh, I don't want to yeah, talk yeah. about it, mama. <laughs> it was just weird because it was like the whole vibe was just them talking shit about right. different people. And I didn't like the energy there. It wasn't like homey. It wasn't like the yeah, yeah. like the barbershop I was at. It wasn't like them talking shit about people the whole time. Like every day, mm-hmm. you know, they're going to talk about yeah, people. Like, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it wasn't, it was like a just a friendly, cool ass environment. And then the, the, the last barber, one of the last barbershops I was at, the, the owner of the shop, cool as hell, man. Shout out to them. They, they support. VOD, hey. I'm talking about they rock VOD to the. That's they one of the realest because they support. Mm-hmm. Whenever they hear anybody doing anything, bro, they support. You feel me? That's so, right. Uh, yeah. That's BNB over there off of uh, Alameda and mm-hmm. uh, Cullen. They right there, so mm-hmm. they, they definitely support. Shout out to them if they ever listen to this or hear this. It's all love always. The owner of the shop, bro, Thanks. he would be funny. He's funny as hell, man. Like he would say something. <laughs> <laughs> somebody will walk in the shop. So let's say we just having casual conversation, right? And mm-hmm. somebody walk in. He'll say something loud as if we're already talking spe- specifically for them. And we all like, get it because it's like they just got in here. Mm-hmm. So he'll come in there like, ah, oh, boys with the all blacks. That's Trey right and there. Like, Damn. No. <laughs> That's how- we'll, like, I'll be in the chair like, it is it's just like, damn. You know? <laughs> or, or when it's a female. My barber, personally, so many times, they'll be like, oh, yeah, that's something right there. Like, they'll just be talking, saying, my they barber, doing it. they saying everything bruh. to not tell her she got a fat ass. And then my barber will turn my chair around <laughs> and fade me where I can see it. <laughs> bro, I feel like a spotlight on you, man. <laughs> that is my barber yeah, to the T. That's team. how the niggas do, bro. Bro, he would stop. He'd be like, hey, hey, you seen her? Yeah, yeah, And yeah, he'd yeah, let yeah, me yeah. get up. And hold so we both on, get up and look. <laughs> Oh, he, like, you, you use your foot to turn it to that bed. Bro, with your umbrella. and I tell you right now, to any female listening right now, if you an entrepreneur, go in the barbershop and yep. sell something. Mm-hmm. Niggas oh, gonna you buy it. Exactly. Yeah. You gonna get Just cause. And, yeah. and females are smart. You don't gotta describe the product. They gonna buy it. Some mm-hmm. of the ones is like extra thick. Oh, they know what they doing. Yeah, they oh, they doing. They come in there selling. Oh, anybody want some tea, tea cakes? Yeah, I want some cakes, all right? <laughs> like, I'm like, girl, you know what you're doing. You come in a barbershop full of niggas. Mm-hmm. And then they come in with a sundress. Yeah. Boy, and niggas trying to get fresh yeah. for you yep. <laughs> this weekend. For real. Hey, right. I call that marketing. Nah, Bro, it was marketing. one time this doing. dude, um, I don't know if they were together or not. It was this couple. She would usually drop off her son around the same day I would get my haircut. It was like we had the same cycle ah, going on, on, haircut cycle. Mm-hmm. Yep. The dude would drop him off most of the time. When the woman dropped him off, she would get out the car, Dang. walk all the way in, Damn, <laughs> and everybody like, "Damn, you know, like, look you at know, her over there. Damn. That's, you, that's you." She was looking for that attention <laughs> real quick. Don't be in there with your lady. That's you. Nah. I think Nisha walked in there one time. I'm like, yeah, what's up, babe? Like, I had to hurry up and identify. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do it immediately. Yeah. You gotta hurry up and identify. What's she, up, baby? She's really? on the line. At that moment, she's free game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, if, re- retreat, fellas. Retreat. She don't yeah. run to no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if she don't run to nobody, oh yeah, that's it. So that's I was man. in there like, hey, oh, babe, what's good? What's good? What's up? I'm like, mm-hmm. yeah, I see you looking nice. You gotta say that quickly, bro. Because yeah, if you don't, the wolves will come out in packs. Yep. And you know what I'm saying? You can't, you know, they don't know. But you know what, bro? Y'all women are so brave, bro, to like yeah. to walk in there with like about that's, 20 deep with, with fillers and like they. That's the equivalent. <laughs> a bunch of dogs. That's the, exactly, I'm that's, like. That's the equivalent of walking into 
a beauty salon. Mm-hmm. I'll be sweatpants. nervous. Boy, I wouldn't. I don't know how to. With gray sweatpants. Bro, I that? walk into. <laughs> bro, I walked into the beauty salon and all you can hear is chatter. Just da da da. Yeah. And this is the time I'm working out like heavy <laughs> at this. <laughs> like I had just Girl, came back from school. You, you was marketing. <laughs> on accident. <laughs> what were you selling? Like, <laughs> my mom was like, "Yeah, come on in and get the blah blah blah." I was like, "I gotta go in there." <laughs> I used like, to hate that shit. I was like, I ain't, I ain't trying to go in there. Oh, that's, that's my bad. Oh, that's your I mean, baby? I wasn't okay. tripping because at this point I was in like. They, they own you. Yeah. I, I was just out of college, so I wasn't tripping at all. I was like, whatever it is, what it is. So I'm walking in and I'm like, everybody just like. <laughs> you know, you just hear that mm-hmm. chatter on the side. Yeah. You're like, mm-hmm. that's cool. Oh, that's you in the little, little, little church. Oh, that's your son. That's your son. That's your son. Okay, you get hit with the. That's your son. Okay, Mr. Big. Man. Yeah. <laughs> he oh, grew he, up. He a grown man. man. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. He's so oh, man. To, uh, when they hit you with the handsome. Bro, not the handsome. You in there now. Now you cooking with grease. When they hit you with the handsome. Oh, it's. The cougar expert knows. Trust me. That handsome, bro. It's over. It's undefeated, bro. Yeah. Yeah, you good, you in the Go on, Ms. Johnson. Yep. Go help you out. You know, I'll cut your grass. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I'll carry your water in, man. I got you, bro. I to time. The, man, the carry the water, that made me think about the um, Ozarka jugs. Yeah. Damn, I don't know why. It's just nostalgic. Big ass Am I showing my age? Good. I'm not they actually having Does no, anybody still do that at home? Yeah, they yeah. no, they do. Still do really? Yeah. yeah, my really? cousin does I put on it, like, trust water. Yeah, I was trying to work at a company. Straight onto the uh, <laughs> thing, it's still a, the mm-hmm. normal filter. They yeah. still do that. That's crazy. I haven't mm-hmm. seen one of those. The commercials. It's still being some catchy. offices. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The offices I get because it's like. I but nah, some man. homes they still mm-hmm. they get them delivered to the crib or whatnot. Because I don't see them as much as I used to. Yeah, when mm-hmm. when you deliver in Amazon, you see everything. So okay. uh-huh. you'll be pulling up and you see a whole Ozarka truck dropping it off at different houses. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's lit, man. Because I, I I kind of I don't know. It's just something about the the vibe. Waking up on a Saturday morning, got the good old Osaka. That's the yeah. good filter water. Yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. Doing that. Gadoop. Yep. You wait, you wait for it. <laughs> why was it so intriguing? Like, I don't know why. It's <laughs> just <laughs> like walking in AutoZone. Oh, exactly. Go. And biting Even his AutoZone Flipping stuff. the book. The it's all about the bubble. The bubble rising. Yeah, just bro. You, yeah, it just when you heard it's made that, the water it just, taste more better. Like, that's why, right, man. And, don't let us be playing in it. We we uh mess with the hot water for no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah for <laughs> like, nothing. I never red? really I cared never for the hot yeah. water feature. I got hot no, water on the tap. I ain't making no cocoa. I ain't making no <laughs> bro, coffee. You know I didn't care that about the hot water feature until I got older. Like I was like, oh, this is actually bro, useful with age. <laughs> yeah, this is one of my this is my job back in like 2013. Like just like y'all, I didn't I didn't care for the red like the hot water was working. Like man, who uses that? <laughs> We're on an assembly line. Buddy pulled out a couple noodles. He used the hot water, what and that, that day I it's was the like, truth. So, so that's what it's for. <laughs> he said, "That's Yo, what it's real? for." Yeah, I was like, "How, bro?" I had a homeboy. He pulled out the spoon, started mixing the hoe, and I'm like, "He just made some perfect ass noodles." The hot water. Hey, I'm yo, like, damn. I, hey, that's it's two things about what you just said. Is that because you learn a lot from <laughs> niggas when you work around niggas? It's true, bro. Yeah. Two. Working at an all man job. Yep. Mm-hmm. That shit is crazy. Yeah, man. Like, it's kind of weird because. <laughs> you learn to survive, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. Me and Brandon worked at the same job around that time. Yep. It was all men. Mm-hmm. I mean, you had a couple women here and there. Yeah, they and weren't they, there. They weren't they around were there. Not yeah. the attractive type. Yeah. yeah. But because yeah. they were women, that's it's how it be. Almost as if they were Tyra Banks. Yeah, that's how it be. Yeah. Kind of, I'm but, pretty yeah. sure that's how jail is. The for jo- that's yeah. the job felt exactly. like jail. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, I, I kind of got a glimpse of what prison, whatever. <laughs> yeah, fuck it felt like prison, me. man. I felt like this is a little glimpse of prison because yeah. it's just me. <laughs> niggas exactly. get aroused by them. niggas would have porn on their phone, bro. Yes, and they, they would watch it like works? full blown. And I'm like, it was an assembly Powell. line at Powell. They oh. worked on like switch gears. I ain't trying mm. to get nobody into it. Got you. Oh, that's what we was doing back then. <laughs> they don't do overnight no more, so we good. So uh-huh. they, yeah, they don't do overnight. And we worked overnight. But yeah, a buddy, oh, yeah. he's I know all about the overnight. Yeah, you know, a couple me. of people, you know, they, they were there, you know, hooking the stuff up. Six days a week. And this is, one, oh my God, overnight, bro. I ain't I trying just, to cut you off, but yeah, that's. No, 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 I'm, oh, I'm having flashbacks now, bro. don't understand, yo. That was horrible, bro. We worked overnight. Yes. What was it, Sunday night to. Yeah. To Friday night, no life. Jesus, you were talking young. about we no still, life. Yeah, and so it was like a month later. Me and Dove, man, I don't want. Bro, I was a manager. I was a manager at Sonic. Yep, this sound like my wife. I was a manager at Sonic during the day. I open up, um, in the like uh, depending on what day it was, I would have like certain off days in between. So I'll be a manager at Sonic probably like six, seven days a week during mm-hmm. the day. Nighttime, I would go over to Bucky's 
and I work overnight. Ooh. And then um, yeah. on the off days that no I had rinse. at Sonic, which was like probably one day, I would go do carpet cleaning for like churches. Like I would clean up carpets. Damn, bro. And I'd be I'd be out there in there for like three four hours or whatever, just cleaning the carpet, doing awesome. the carpet cleaning. You job. work like you was in the eighties. I had, yeah, on the I had three jobs for like three months. You sound, like, uh, you sound like my dad. I was talking to him early. He was saying, that, "Nah, Kiss, Ke- yeah, bro, bro, my yeah. alarm clock was my wife. Like it, it was so bad. Like I would um, do my managing stuff at Sonic. If I didn't have the carpet cleaning thing to do, I would, we she would basically drive me over." She would drive me over to uh, Bucky's. I would sleep for about 30 minutes, and she'd wake me up, and I'd be like, all right. And I'd go, and I'd work again. I fell asleep standing up at Bucky's at least five times, And that's funny, because that's how niggas was overnight at that (laughs) job. Bro, I'd be in that bitch like. You could tell the niggas that didn't get no sleep. And it was crazy because you couldn't be late. You couldn't? No. Which was weird, not, literally. You no grace period like, at all. Not even at all. Not one minute. Yeah. Ooh. So I was, I always felt weird, like, yo, nigga, we lining up at 10. How yeah. the hell we all supposed to mm-hmm. clock exactly. in? Exactly. By 10, and yeah. we can't be one minute late. That sounds yeah. like Bucky's. And so, like, nigga, <laughs> Bucky's prison. I don't know. Bucky's prison, bro. Like, <laughs> niggas, niggas was saying point. Like, it was really crazy. Yeah. I'm like, that sounds You saw some savage man, bro. And I'm like, I don't want to be like you. I don't want to end up like you. I don't want to grow up like you. I don't want to be like you. Yep. Yeah, I just dreaded it. Yep. We just dreaded. It. I mean, because it was. Man, like, I, I think a lot of ex cons was able to work there. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it was like one of you those. That's some very is. delusional people. You got and all then, the crackheads, the meth heads. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> the the saddest thing though, a lot of niggas had to pay child support. Ooh. So, so they lost. And we got we got paid weekly. Yep. So we would get paid. Niggas were like, yep. I only got what two hundred. Yeah, I got to do a lot of uh, overtime. And they yeah. would do overtime. I'm like, yo, I'm already tired. Exactly from eight hours, bro. <laughs> then they there was guys overtime. that would stay there till like ten o'clock in the morning. No, twelve. Yeah, mid, that like, afternoon. The afternoon. That, that you know evening. how sad that was just when to I get was right up. back up at like nine o'clock. Just to Ooh, just to. to, to to stay afloat and have a little bit extra money outside of the money they lost. That was me at Sonic, bro. I, especially when you'd have like people come in as car hops or like cooks or whatever, right. and they'd be dealing with baby mama drama. They'd have Depressing, other stuff bro. to play. Like, hey, dude, did I have skates? Uh, some, <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So some like, it was optional though. It was, you didn't have to do it. I wonder if they do that now. But you, I don't see nobody with skates. You get paid. You get paid more when you, you wear skates. Right? You got paid more to wear skates. Wow, that's so, crazy. But it's just a little quick, like to mm-hmm. the to the he to was the, the manager though, to the kitchen, to the right? car. Like, nah, it, just... it depends on the Sonic, really. I was on the one that had to do. Yeah, I was was owned by mm. this dude who yeah had franchised. a lot of money. Huh? Was it franchised? Yeah. Oh, okay. And so um, we, we would put them um, skates on now. People would come in there with baby mama drama. They'd have like probation stuff to do yeah. and he'd be like bro i can't come in today i'm like god damn so i have to like readjust the schedule or i'm like trying to work with like four people during the craziest yeah. hours and we just like sweating in there like throwing stuff and it would be crazy like bro that's it was I tell, insanity i tell people in high school now bro like bro enjoy your years because after high school the real world happens bro that real and life punching we saw a My hell man. of some shit you know after high school, like yeah, bro, reality kicks in. Quick. It definitely does. Yeah. Bro, I guess, that real I guess life. it's like is is prom, graduation, yep. and then that Back summer you enjoy yep, that all. summer you <laughs> enjoy yourself. You the man, exactly. Yep, that summer of your graduation, you the mm-hmm, man. Mm-hmm. And then school hit, and depending on what school you went to, yeah. as far as college or if you went, then you 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 still in a good a good space yeah but once that kind of dwindled down and you didn't kind of got mm-hmm. used to the campus and you didn't got used to the females mm-hmm. and shit ain't just so fresh no more yeah reality Life starts fast, kicking bro. Really does, start bro. hitting you and you start really you start aging mm-hmm. <laughs> like hey, i'm yeah. getting older you know this this turning up uh all night and then waking up early in the morning that, that, that can't shit. do it that's yeah. what i already knew Hey, don't you get no damn AM classes like no mm-hmm. eight in the morning? Man, look, everything was ten and later. Bro, my stuff started at nine <laughs> because I thought that was a good idea. But I ended up being a party promoter and all this. <laughs> other stuff. So shout out to the party promoters, man. Yeah, that was shit down, got man. real, and then I danced. So you know that ain't you know I'd be up there like going to like two thirty, and they close at two. Mm-hmm. And they like, bro, you tripping? That's what I was telling. I used to tell Brandon and the homies to to come out. Cause me and the homie Kedrick used to always go out to the club and stuff, right. and they didn't ever really want to go out to the club. Boy, I'm like, yo, we are. I'm like, yo, it's where's. If you want females, come with us. I was anti club, bro. 
It was. Until it was. me and my other partners, like, crazy. we were like, hey, man, come on, man. We might as well. They did, they did not want to go, bro. Well, we walk in, you know. Warehouse Live. Warehouse Live. The what first was the joint song that, they... that was on? It was, made, I think, uh, maybe the the uh, Big Tuck, like, get money. Oh, yeah. We going to get money. And, like, it's just bumping. They played that shit all the time. And all of a sudden, I'm just like, like the age, energy. Bro. Showing your age. The energy, yeah, it, it, for real. <laughs> I don't know what. I don't know if I got up. possessed or something. I'm just it's, like, <laughs> bro, that I was like, oh, vibe, you know, the, vibe, it, the vibe just got me. And I'm like, bro, when everybody's so, lit. Bro, a random chick. She a just lot, started. A lot of stuff. Bro, no, I was like, bro, Brandon, Brandon I got will, the twerk. Bro, I can't. Yeah, the, I can't the man the that up. day, man. And I, and I was telling him, I'm like, bro. Every weekend, I wanted to hit that. I'm like, God. Yeah, we hey, go let's again. go back. We go in this hole every, every weekend, bro. Brandon said, let's go out, back. I walked out the club doing the SpongeBob looking at Squidward. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm in that hole Told doing the, what, the, what, the, damn, what was it? Uh, The daddy stroke or like hit the uh Dougie. And I'm like, bro. I was a top person. I never like dance bro. like that, and I wasn't drunk. I, I didn't start. I, I wasn't drinking nothing. It's like, bro, the music just bumping. I'm like, bro, this is lit, bro. That was the years like, they would be like. So we'd have a party, and let's say it starts off slow. My homeboy he emceed, and I had another homeboy to DJ. He'd be like, right. dance, go to the middle, and then I go to the middle, and he play some <laughs> crazy shit, go and I just go, you know, start going, <laughs> and then it just gets crazy in there. Mm -hmm. They'd be like. That's that's what we that's gotta do every did. time. And so <sighs> after times. that, all the energy is just insane in, at the party. And that's why I was like, okay, this shit live. There's one party I miss that I regret missing to this day. I don't know if this is a safe enough space to reveal it. Uh oh. Uh oh. <clears throat> um, you make me think now. Is it U of H versus somebody? No. Nah. Okay. I made the U of H's. Okay. <laughs> Them hoes I miss was live. Bro, the U of H versus T S. Oh, you was at that? Ooh, I didn't oh go to that one either. You was at that? You can I didn't even know you then. But go, <laughs> go check out all the in the mix pictures. I didn't know y'all, mm -hmm. but you, I was definitely there. Oh yeah, y'all know about in the mix. Yeah, and, yeah. I went to U of H at that time. Yo, them in the mix pictures and stuff. Mm -hmm. We, me and Kendrick, always have to catch an in the mix picture. Like I actually need to go look at I them now. Find them because we were like at the same party. Like, really? Yes. I took one almost at all of them. I couldn't take not everyone because I made lie. all of them. I think except for <laughs> one of the latest ones. Because at Warehouse Live, yeah. bro, like whenever they like. Yo, I was like, that was my first time going to a club at Warehouse Live. Mm. So when I went to the for the very first time with my homeboy, um, DeAndre, <laughs> shout out to Dre, man. He out in Cali right now doing his thing. Shout out to Dre. Hey. He, mm -hmm. He's yeah. the one that told me to go to a detox mm. party. <laughs> and yeah, for niggas that know what I'm talking about, that's what I missed. I mm -hmm. missed the phone party. And I, I never been to one. I've heard, heard a lot about. I have like a oh. a, a thing against phone parties. <laughs> it bothers me Good that times. all that stuff. No, get I, on you. I can't do it. I just like the fact that you could be in shorts. Yeah, yeah. You could. Maybe That's the cool. wet socks. You know, it's just the wet, the wet socks, the wet. That's cool. A lot but of I've people. Heard, yeah, I've heard a lot. Yeah, phone the parties KK like si phone parties. Women didn't have nothing. Yep. Nothing. Bro. Nah, that was just access to access. I think. I think it was at Warehouse Live, KK side phone party. I'll never forget this because they had they had charter buses. They had like yeah, six, <laughs> seven, eight charter buses from PV. from PV. So you didn't have to drive, which was dope because we was all drunk. I remember this vividly. Boys was throwing up before they got there on the bus. I was Man. like, oh, Pre this is about fail. to be one of those nights. Man. All right, cool. And back then, you know, twenty dollars for a ticket TV, you know? was expensive mm. for a, a broke college kid. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, I was like, damn, but. Like $20 for a ticket And they It was all professional and stuff I remember Cause you know We knew some people In the band or whatever They flew somebody out From Seattle To actually Set up the phone Bro that's so, crazy man We get there Oh well now I'm lit I'm like man It's one of these nights I had on muscle tee Had on some shorts yep. And had on like just, Some fusion J's That I knew I didn't care about yo, You know what I'm saying You you yeah, definitely you, you, don't yeah, want to be yeah, fresh exactly. <laughs> You gotta be prepared I don't want to, with the slides Yeah like <laughs> You already know What's about to happen You about to have a good time So That's true I was in there Bro I walked in Turned the corner The phone was already Past my knees When I walked in Even more The phone was Past my head I'm like, bro. Now got claustrophobic. Yeah, I bro, I was in this hole. Oh, oh, <laughs> man. This I is paid for this? Oh, man, I paid for this. Yeah, I, and some I girl can't. just going crazy. Yeah, just. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, that was nothing. Uh -uh. 
I it's want, so many cons to, so to home party for me personally that I have never been a, been to one because of the thought process that I have so towards it. Exactly. Yeah. That. Yes, I guess that's the concept. Of, <laughs> exactly. Okay. Yeah, okay, wet too, musty yeah. bodies. <laughs> yeah. We're not talking about regular <laughs> wet bodies. I'm talking about wet, wet sweaty, yeah. musty bodies. <laughs> Bro, come in. You smell like he'd be like that. Hey, hey, you said better bring it up. And then he, <laughs> then, then he the one, he the one that want to put his hood. arms up. He the one that want to put his arms up the most and get on somebody. Be like, nah, you that phone, bro. And yeah. hey, you got something right there. Get the that. women, women used to kill me, bro, with Ooh. the check. You know they had to check to look at you real mm-hmm. quick to mm-hmm. then give you a roll up. Oh yeah, 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 yeah bro. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to love that because it yeah, let I'm me know that I wasn't ugly. It was a little nervous. I've sometimes. never been rejected, so it was like Mm-mm. I get go out there and then they hit the look, and I'm like, hey, "Damn, I'm about to get, Kendrick, I'm about to get hold." Kendrick, know this story. <laughs> One time, it was a girl in the middle of the dance floor. I mean, just dancing. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it was niggas crowding her. Of course, that's and how so the cringe. I don't know what happened. That's just hella cringe. I busted up the nuts to go and like, man, why y'all niggas just sitting there? Like, come on, <laughs> yo, she must have did the little finger at me. Mm. Like, no. Cause all the niggas was just standing around there, and I'm like, "Yo, nobody gonna get on that." That's that's how we used to talk back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of that's course, what it was. So yeah. like, hey, nobody yeah, gonna get on that. Ten plus like, years ago, like, hey, you know, hey, go, go. Yeah, go, so go. man, I went over there and she did the no, no, but she rubbed it down oh. on me, and I'm like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> you give, hey, you giving me mixed signals, girl? Right. <laughs> Dub was like, huh? Yo, I'm like, what? Is this a no or like? <laughs> Do you nah, want? That's a, that's I'm, a yes. I'm yes. Do you want to continue or not? Yeah, like. That's what shit would have been. Like, be prepared you know, for the bull. <laughs> you want yeah, to continue yeah. or not? It was it was fun because at the end of the day, man, you just enjoyed yourself. It mm-hmm. was, for it real, man. Minus the niggas that just went there to beef with other niggas. Yeah, that that was uh, lame. No that I never hated. makes sense to yeah, me. You I get in there and be that, like, bro. "Yep." It messed up the PV uh, Lake party for me. Yeah, you know, it was like, uh, the time of our life. The one uh, PV party yeah. I was about to go to, they shot it up before I even got there. Yeah, so I was like, "Sounds you know, about right." So I was like, "Yeah, I ain't going to no PV parties ever again." <laughs> the infamous yep. Lake Party. Yep. I, I they were shooting at that one. Yeah. Makes yeah. sense. I think that's probably the one I was going to. So yeah, it made no sense. But like, I was Lake I was looking party. to, uh, you know, just stupid, you know, bro. Just continue dumb. the night with complete <laughs> something, but you know, man, I yeah. think it was a sp- sp- supposed to be like the PV. What what's the special night they have out there at PV? What's it called? Like the Every night it's probably special. PV Homecoming. <laughs> I go with PV. You homecoming. just said PV and special night. <laughs> yeah. That's nah, a lot, so many categories nah. at there. Nah, I can see. Like, nah, there was about... like an actual. I'm, I'm guessing it's homecoming. I'm gonna go with homecoming. Yeah, and we were supposed to go out there, and I think they started shooting immediately out there, and I was that like, "Sounds about just, right." Just, just, just bro, I was just trying to party for one, and at this That's... time, I was going with a girl that went out, went to PV. So I was uh, like, "All right, cool. I'll yeah. come pull up." I was to her. like the man that night, bro. I was running into people, running into <laughs> the right people. Yeah, and you know, I was just trying to, you know, I think the scariest thing for me wasn't just the fact that we was getting shot at but I was in my sister car and mm. I was just hoping that her car didn't get shot up because the way that they were shooting oh yeah, it was straight bro. towards it was just like a war nah so they was in yeah. Iraq I, oh it was that bad nah, it was, oh y'all was out there out there you heard well, I would AKs know, we I actually heard couldn't it. even run towards our cars we had to run into a completely different direction more into the woods actually mm, it was crazy. Oh. so it was scary because we was actually running more into the woods yeah, not bro. knowing what you running into and then into. I saw yep. I had to piss and I had to really really pee and I, that's the that's how it started me and Man. the homie was we was looking for somewhere to pee real quick, and we asked one dude like, "Hey, what are they, they peeing around here? That's weird, right? right to meet somebody." <laughs> no, remember that dude? You you asked that as a dude. It's okay, like, hey, bro. What's the restroom? He's like, "Yeah, they <laughs> peeing around there." What we got to pee at? The same nigga we we asked that we end up getting cool with because he was our running mate. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> This shit crazy, right? I'm just trying to get on some. Oh yeah, man. No <laughs> happens. Right. Where you from, bro? Are you cool, man? You want to know something crazy, Wait, though? Nice to meet you, man. Yo, like so, <laughs> nah, so. But look, I had to. I had to pee. So the minute I unzip, <laughs> boom. That's that's the crazy. worst time, bro. Boom, boom. That's the worst time. So pow, pow, pow. That's crazy as fuck. I had to zip up, start running. Damn. While having a piss, and then the thing is, at one point while we were running, I was like, "Yo, if I don't stop, I'm going to pee on myself." So I was thinking, "Do you stop and pee, pee and run, or do you get shot, or do you just <laughs> keep going and just piss yourself?" These are like, life bro, decisions. Is, like I'm yeah, talking about all this happening That's real life in multi seconds, yeah. and in my head, I'm like, "You know what? I don't want to piss on myself because it's gonna look like 
I was I got that scared. And then, yeah. so I got bro. <laughs> then your adrenaline got rushing. Scared. Talk about uh, a rock in a hard place. So, so it's I'm making it harder. It. So I actually stopped to pee. <laughs> and that was as I to stopped to pee, a black. Ch- we're in the middle of the woods. Ooh. A black charger with tinted windows Ain't up to and no, no lights just drove right in front of me. Hell no. And bro. I just let my shit go. Because I just knew I was about to get shot. Like, I was like, yo. These must have been a part of one of the niggas I was shooting because they was already like ducked off and they didn't have no no lights on. They was already in the middle of the woods and they just started driving, driving past me. And I just let my shit go and just started. It's like peeing. they definitely was shooting. They was getting up out of there. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I just started peeing. I just let it go and just started pissing. Cause Damn. I was about He's to like, shot. I guess I'm going to just get. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to kill a man that's pissing? No, <laughs> hey, uh, you probably would have. Yeah. That, hey, a survival. No, scene. it's like that quick <laughs> like that. Exactly. I, I just. You went fed, to the man that's peeing, right? I just fed like, into all that. Ah, okay, all that right. shit remind shit. me of party promoter Watch stories because San Antonio is a lot shit. wilder than people know. Because Eastside San Antonio, they don't give a fuck about life. I, don't, I believe so. Yeah. We we decided to throw. This was probably I think this was the last Eastside San Antonio party for a while because. Mm-hmm. So it was the last. Oh, live man. as fuck. I to go there. It was too live. I you shouldn't have gone there. Go no, there. I don't suggest that. Yeah. I probably know her, but uh, I never. <laughs> uh, so the um party was what was it? It might have been a Texas State UTSA thing, and then so I think it was getting close to the closing time. Of course, this is when they always start doing stupid shit. Yep. Um, I heard an argument towards the door side because yep. it got really Sounds loud, like really loud, to where you hear like eight people arguing. And I was like, okay, and the music's kind of just playing, but it's not super loud. So I was like. Fuck going on, Drumming and so out. they yelling. Dude say, "All right, all right," and I was like, "Oh, oh shit!" That's it. You, you know, right. you, you know, you hit that, you hit that, I right, bet or anything like that, and that. you see somebody walking off. I'm like, "Nah, yep. it's time for us to get the fuck." Oh, but yep. I had to help no, the DJ because I'm cool with the DJ, and I'm, I pack their stuff Damn. out. I have to pack the stuff out. I'm cool you with the MC. Left that shit there and came Dude back. goes back. <clears throat> um, next thing you know, you hear do 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 straight towards the door. I was like, "Ooh." She and I'm sitting no sense, on like bro. I'm on the opposite side, but I see That's it. Crazy. And I, I, all you see is lights coming from like the right side, and it's just and it's hitting glass over here. I Damn. was like, "Oh, you was trying to kill, kill!" Like yeah, exactly. he wasn't trying to just shoot in the air. There's some niggas out here that just don't got nothing. He he like, didn't don't. care about life, bro. They, they and so he he shot the door a couple times, and then um he stops, and then I think he starts shooting in the air at this point. And then um, Crazy, y'all during this out. part, girls are freaking the fuck out at yeah. this point. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, you come over here. I'm like trying to get people to move because mm-hmm. at this point, it's like this has happened like four times in a row within like that week. Jesus. Because we had through four parties on the east side like dumbasses. That wasn't a part. That wasn't a spot no more. Exactly. So it was like four times in a row it happened. At this point, I'm kind of used to the hearing it. But I was like, you know, still adrenaline rushing. It's, it's guns. But um. I start moving them all over towards the <coughs> DJ side because that's not the side that's really getting shot at. And then we move outside. My DJ homeboy, of course, he's from San Antonio. So he I'm not even going to say names. He knows a lot of the people that be on the right. side and stuff. So he he uh go, he's like, wait, what's going on? And he, he's seen the shooting or whatever. So he gets up because, you know, when you're on the DJ booth, you can't hear half the stuff that's yeah. actually going on if you still mm-hmm. got your headphones half on. So I, I walked up. I said, hey, they they shooting, busting outside. And he was like, oh, OK. Well, um, he was like, wait, who? Because <laughs> he knows a lot of people. Right. So yeah. he uh comes out the. uh So there's a back entrance back, where his yeah. truck's at and where we usually like drop the stuff off. So he goes out. He hops in. He hops in his uh car. And then somebody runs up to him from like the backside. He's like, "Hey, uh, such such shooting." I was like, "Oh no, it's one of his friends." Wow. Yeah. So we come out the. Uh, I come out the back because I roll with some <clears throat> other people. They are uh, about to leave because they freaking out already. They running out to the other side to get to their car. So I'm like, "Shoot, I don't want to get left." So I come <clears throat> outside, and then my homeboy, the DJ, we had already pretty much put the stuff in at this time, and he he starts driving like towards uh, where I guess the guy was shooting at at one point. And then another dude comes up. He comes out the car and out the back seat with a Mac. Ooh. And he goes like this. And this is before I even got over there. I'm like running. I'm like, what the fuck? So I slow down. I'm like, oh, right, oh, oh. Right, am right. I running towards I'm it? Backpedaling. <laughs> so, so I slow down. And then my homeboy's still driving towards it. So he drives over to them. And he's like, hey, hey, chill out. Da, 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 da. He says something to him. And then I'm like, 
oh, he knows them. Okay, so they won't shoot at us. All right. So I go over there because I'm trying to make sure my other homeboy is straight because he's drunk as shit. So now I get him, but he's riding with the DJ. So I'm basically helping him get over towards the other people that's shooting. And then from the door, shooting. So it's coming towards us now. So I'm like, oh. So at this point, I duck. I hit the ground. I just lay down. I was like, fuck this, bro. Right. I laid under like somebody's car. All I hear is... And I was Ooh. like, that was the scariest shit in my life. And then yeah. I get up. As soon as I get up, somebody else comes out and goes, boom, right next to my ear. Oof. I remember that shit so loud. Damn, that's Damn. crazy, bro. And I was like, bro, this is the scariest shit I've ever been. Like, I'm fucking shaking now at this point because I'm like, bro, I might die. Is this it? Like, this might be my, because I'm in the I middle guess, of this. Now, you know what that moment was? <laughs> I guess you wonder why I got in this position. No, yeah, that's next. Next. bro. Bro, that's. when I tell you the ring was so loud because he was right there. Like, it was like he he came behind the other dude with the Mac. He was like, boom. And it was like, ding. Uh, and I was like still trying to register what the fuck's going on. I'm like, point, oh, my gone. God. So the guys who I ride with, He's a real ass dude too. So he pulls up. He like get in. And so I was like, "Fuck everything." Just like the movie. God damn. <laughs> damn like, now, it was really bro. like some movie shit. Damn. He said, "Get in." No, he he had to. You know what he had to do? He had to open the passenger door from yep, the driver's seat. For real, exactly. <laughs> get in. <laughs> <laughs> now, he just rolled down the window, and then the girls that were in the back, they already were opening it up. I was like, "Shit!" I hopped in the car, and we drove off. The dude with the Mac hopped in the car, and he starts shooting in the air as they driving around. I like y'all niggas crazy. They on some. Uh, <laughs> they on some. Now that was really on purge. some. Snow Shit, yeah, bro. also on the purge that's with why the mask. I think that's, man boy type shit. That's why I thought yeah. that scene was so cool because I was like, I've actually witnessed that shit in right. real life. Like these motherfuckers really was, was like, crazy. I was like, oh y'all crazy, crazy. Yeah, uh, crazy. nah, bro. Some crazy. Yeah. Y'all really out here trying to catch real bodies. <laughs> y'all yeah. not just talking about it. Y'all really out here trying to do that shit. Well, uh, I know my. And new I don't think nobody friends. got hit. That's the worst part. I'm like. So y'all just y'all just can't all shoot. Bullets just shoot. Like, <laughs> yeah, just to be <laughs> shooting. Right. Y'all could have hit uh, anybody. Just which is right. a good thing, but I'm like, yeah. bro, why? What was the logic of to the? It was a great thing. I was like, bro, I'm glad nobody got hit. Yeah, all for real, I'm bro, it was at Definitely. least at least seventy bullet shot. At least Sheesh, that was crazy, the craziest bro. night I had out there. Yeah. It's crazy because it's bad that you get used to gunshots. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that bad? Like where you just like? I think mm. that was the worst part because at the eh. beginning, like when it started, I was like, damn, they starting, and yeah. I didn't like, yeah. react like I normally would have if I was new to it. And I was like, damn, they starting, and the girls are freaking out on this side. So I'm like, all right, y'all come over here. I'm trying yeah. to keep calm. No, and I'm still, you know, my adrenaline's still pumping. I'm still like, fuck, I could get You're hit. Superman at this moment, yeah, but I'm used to it. Yeah. So I was like, come on. <laughs> Yeah. But that shit, hey, the human body is crazy, bro. It like, really you, is, man. you really get into this mode to where mm-hmm. you just like fuse. At up. that point, I was looking for my people trying to protect them. Yeah, and then once they were good, I was like, yeah, I had to. I had Y'all that keep situation. shooting if you want. We leave. That situation right. happened with family, you know. And it with just, family? Yeah, like being at being somewhere with family. My wife uh, <laughs> took her to Louisiana. <laughs> she, she over here laughing. Oh, I forgot about I wanna, that. I don't want to get into details, but I understand. <laughs> trust me, I don't want to get into. Get, yeah, they ghetto as hell. <laughs> I can't. Mm, I can't you know, talk about nobody. Chips, family, but it's Louisiana. <laughs> Let me stop. We was in I Louisiana. Got, so Shreveport. 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 It was a shootout while I was there. I'm talking about His only family thing, shooting? The only thing that scared me. Shootout in a country. It was, it was, at, it was down the street. But <laughs> what part of Louisiana? Uh, I'll tell you. Because yeah, I probably know. I don't get that, bro. Yeah. What? Shootouts in country ass areas, bro. How y'all gangsters? Who don't give a damn is the yeah. niggas from Louisiana. No, no, they really don't yeah, give they a don't, damn. Yeah, niggas, like, just, bro, what young boy be rapping about, that's real. Oh, no, Baton yeah. Rouge is, is, oh, yeah, that's. <laughs> they don't yeah. give a damn. I think yeah. my biggest thing, <laughs> my biggest thing was that. Like, my kids is out there, my mom and them. Exactly. So I, yeah. I just immediately was like, yo, come on, get in the car, man. Just, let's go, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And then. But it's like my like <laughs> she said I ain't coming back. My family used to that. It's crazy because <laughs> after that we went back to the hotel and we was just like, man, hey, let's chill, let's go do something else. Them niggas went back over there. Like shot nothing. again? Because it's nothing. No, I'm saying like, yeah. Oh, everybody went back over it's there. It's like hang out. just cool. Because niggas is like, oh, we good. Like I'm, ah, I don't. Shit, I'm I don't not live like that. <laughs> like, yeah, I don't really. want my kids. I don't want to live that exactly, man. Mm-hmm. Nah, I don't. I don't want to live like that. And I didn't want mm-hmm. them to be experienced that. And that what got me the most. It pisses me off, but I ain't have nothing. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I was like, ah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm empty out here. I can't, 
get into it, you mm-hmm. know. But you got family that got you, so it's like. But at the end of the day, you just don't want to be in that situation. But yeah. all I know is it's bad that we get comfortable with those situations yeah. because mm-hmm. I mean I remember being in the heat of the heart of the New Orleans versus Texas oh thing God, in mm-hmm. Houston, and I mean it. The fact that we was literally fighting niggas that we didn't even know. For those, well, it was. I didn't like the disrespect. It was hella disrespect. You coming here talking about some old? I think the thing. I don't know why. What used to piss me off was the old this new Houston, and I don't know why that just. It was hella annoying. It was like. Ah, it's just your like Houston yo. roots. They just start. <laughs> yeah, you can't come here. You're like, don't come here disrespecting with my your city, dreads right? and shit. And talking about some old. You outnumbered. Over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're hella yeah. outnumbered. Like, on your FEMA and shit, like just relax, bro, like mm-hmm. just. Houston, like, Houston put a stop to that, bro. Quick, I used though. to be like, bro, y'all survived. That's really what happened. Hurricane, why are y'all so mad, bro? Like we took y'all in. I didn't like, like the <laughs> fact that people was killing people who was letting them in their house. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Niggas was letting them into their house, and you find out they murdering people that mm-hmm. they niggas is opening their home to you because they seeing that you lost everything. I'm seeing yeah. dumbass mm-hmm. niggas with yeah, TVs have, yeah. walking un, in six feet of water so the TV can't get wet. Yeah, but at the same time, you know, people seeing it, and they're like, "Damn, Bush and them ain't doing nothing." I want to lend some help. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shit, let them if they make it out here. Well, you know, they open yep. up the center to where <clears> if mm-hmm. people wanted to pick up, not adopt the family, but if you wanted to exactly. help a family, you could take them in. They was really asking the community to help. Mm-hmm. No, I remember uh, I was a office assistant around that time, and then you saw it on TV, and you saw like you know, in person, you know, people coming in. But what it what really like got me, I'm like, bro, this shit is real. It's like a mother and her kids. They came in, you know, they're like, I'm trying to register my kid for school. And they said so-and-so. And she literally said, I don't have no address. Like, this is all we have. Like, yeah, yep. They had no clothes. And I was like, man. And I saw, like, in the back, there was a whole bunch of backpacks. And those are made for, like, the kids and the family. I'm like, bro, so this shit was real. That's wait, real wait, life. Did you say you was office assistant? Yeah. Oh, that was a free period then. He kind of was. Like, yeah, I was just was about a, to say. Bro, he had I that used to yeah. always want to be a damn office assistant. Bro, I used to. Bro. I was too oh bad. Yeah. But <laughs> that was, like, the best. <laughs> I just I loved it, bro. I, I felt so. I felt like I class. was. Just, like, there was no way I could get it. Yeah. Like there was no way. I wanted to do the announcement. Have I, I could no, I, 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 I ever did the announcement so, ever. Mm-hmm. I have done the announcement before. Okay, but it was like how they did it was kind of random. Like they had selected people, right. kind of mm-hmm. in a way. So I've done it before, but I think it was like junior high. Yeah, I, say. I did. I didn't do it consistently, and it, and it no, was also on the news one time because I remember the news used to go to different elementary schools, and they used to tell you what they're having for breakfast, lunch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember, I remember that. that. Yeah. You yeah. make yeah. me feel old. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they used to go to different elementaries, and then they'll show you the kids like lunch, mm-hmm. the breakfast and the lunch for that. It made day. me think about uh, what was it, Turbo and them when they used to come through the school. Bro, like, Turbo oh, was the man. Right. Mm-hmm. Come like, through. Nobody through. was better than Turbo, man. Backflip dunks and shit. Yeah, bro. And it was just like, yo. I don't know, man. I just think being a kid. I remember. I remember meeting. Uh, um, what was his name? Calvin Cato. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He came to. We uh, had Steve Francis come. Our elementary school. Calvin Cato was tall. As, I mean, I, we was already little. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, just amazing. Was like, yo, they all tall as hell at that point. Yep. Mm-hmm. They still tall now. So just imagine oh yeah, <laughs> little as hell and stuff like that. And. You know, so hey, kids, appreciate the time. If you're a kid and you listen, for real, back, you still in school. Yeah, appreciate don't the rush, time. don't rush. Do Take your time. I to tell you that you know what we was lit when we was younger, mm-hmm. and we Take still lit because we still young. Yep. yep. But at the yep. end of the day, reality didn't hit. Adulting <laughs> ain't the best. It's, it's not, not, it's not. Trust me, <laughs> it get real. It, it does. Bro, I quit. seen that. Uh, what they say? Uh, once you pass twenty five, you don't need to alarm your problems. Like wake you up. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, <laughs> that is. The truth. Yo, like, insurance facts. gonna wake you up. Your car yeah. note. You wake up stressed. Your mortgage. Shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, God damn, I got to pay rent. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. First of the month. They that song don't, don't hit up. no more. It don't. It don't. Do it. I it hate that not. song. Yes. Oh Low key. Yep. That's the first thing everybody think about. Bills. Yeah. Yeah. First of the month. Damn, damn it. How damn much I'm about to spend? Mm-hmm. I just I'm spent three fifty on some damn tires. Actually, today. Woo. Yeah. Just... I'm gonna have to go ahead and push this back. See if they take the arrangement. And then you know what I'm saying. You feel me? <laughs> Make it cheaper for me. Arrangements. Right now. I ain't trying friend. to pay all that Arrangements right now. Arrangements are your friends, but nah. Uh, Thanks. so yeah, <laughs> we didn't get into a lot of the dope topics that we for wanted it. to get to, but I do want to touch before we end. <clears throat> before we end it, what do y'all feel about this going on with the Joe Budden podcast? Man, that's who <laughs> he said. Who? The thing about it is, it feels like because we're a podcast, exactly. And uh, we don't want to have an opinion on another podcast. What I what I've got out of so, it is like. Joe, man, you gotta you you gotta treat your 
it, it ain't it ain't all you didn't you didn't build it yourself yeah you know pretty much that's what i'm getting at you know and i know joe he's still like oh i'm not the problem i'm like man see I that's the know, problem buddy. like yeah, you've got to somewhat accept some type of fault on yourself because yeah. right now it is not looking good yeah so, it, it basically boils down to you know what i'm saying he had some people that was rocking with him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That was actually his friends before the podcast and it's stuff crazy, like that. Man. They decided to, you know, do it together. They decided to, you know, come up with a contract. Everybody get paid, you know what I'm saying? And the issue was they just wanted to know how much money they were, how much the the overall, you know, the brand, the podcast was actually making. That's all they really wanted to know yeah. for, you know, accounting purposes. You feel me? And anytime money came up, it was an issue and that's yeah. that was the problem you so know what explain I'm saying? exactly what was happening with the money because i didn't hear about that basically they were uh ma uh and uh, uh ma and rory uh the other two co-hosts mm -hmm. they just wanted accounting they wanted yeah. to know how much the overall show was getting and yeah. Th yeah, that was I, that I was think, the main yeah. issue i really. think um what they were saying because i watched them too they kind of did their own little mm -hmm. their side of the story so what it was was all of them at one point got an attorney or their attorneys to look at contracts to do a, uh, I think, a paid partnership. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so it wasn't like you own it or anything. Right. It was like we are a percentage, a paid per a percentage partnership or something like that. Mm -hmm. Excuse me if I'm saying Which the wrong thing. Which makes sense. I mean, y'all on the thing. Yeah. Yeah, they weren't so they seeking all got ownership. A percentage. Yeah. So they each yeah. attorney. You just wanted your cut because mm. you were there. But mm -hmm. each exactly. attorney looked at it and they all agreed upon them. That I guess they were supposed to get uh, the books. Uh, the accounting books every quarter or something like that. Mm -hmm. So that way they can review it or the accounting people can review it. And so I think every time they mention it, it was like some issues coming up. Mm -hmm. So was Joe, Joe shorting them or something? Well, Joe wasn't the one. I, well, it's it's tough because they said they had a accounting company who ran the numbers mm -hmm. and paid out the percentages. Right. So when they just wanted to see the numbers, all they wanted to do was see them just to make sure that the company that they had doing the, the mm -hmm. was being truthful. handling was being truthful yeah mm -hmm. so i don't think they were really blaming joe per se for gotcha. just the actual handling yeah. but it's just every time they brought it up it seemed to kind of trigger some type of you know uh frustration or you know mm -hmm. um, mm. stern emotion right yeah every time i bring up accounting you get like a little mm, you mm -hmm. know so that's what they were saying i mean it's just one of them things it's a it's a very thin line because i know joe was probably like the big investor and his name is why people kind of like yeah. <coughs> yeah. gravitate towards it. Yeah, understandable. But you do have to be open and transparent mm -hmm. uh, so if you want something to run right. smoothly with other grown men successfully and smoothly. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, people should understand what their role is. People should know where they are. And I, I feel like everybody don't have to be the top. If I know yeah. you're a CEO, you're just a CEO. Cool. Mm -hmm. But we all are a Making part of it this better. to make it run. Mm -hmm. What happened? It's cool. But it's still going? Yeah. That's cool. And then, you know, uh, I think there also their issue was just the way he handled it because he it terrible, essentially man. fired Rory live because he did an episode what? and he fired him because he said he was in breach I'll, of his contract. Exactly. And the way he was talking about Ma, like he was like he was in seeing way like he was a bum. Yeah. And he was like, bro, Joe, you know, I've always had money. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I've, I've been there with you while you was in jail type stuff like we like. I would never think you would podcast talk. Got them acting like that. I, I would never think you would start talking to me like that. He has or, real or ego, air. ego problems. Or money. Man. That or, is you know, Joe Budden. Money, I mean, yeah, or money, though. Is, you know? I think the more, honestly, personally, I think the I more guess. money you have, the more it exposes who you really are. I don't and think they said that, too. I don't Facts. think people change with money. Mm -hmm. I think it just shines a light on who your true yeah. person is. That makes sense. Because yeah, when, really. when people get money, you can tell the difference. You can, like, you know, one thing about me, I've always stayed consistent. Mm -hmm. No matter where we were, like what we was doing, mm -hmm. broke or not, and I'm not rich at all. But mm -hmm. just the fact of being from struggling to comfort, you know, like I have the same grind. I'm still just as whatever mom. Exactly. They call me cheap. Got to stay humble. <laughs> I'm conservative. Nah, I, I, I say hey, conservative. That's how you and stay, I'll, that's I'll, how you I'll stay tie this in because me and uh, Dub had this conversation when we was talking about it earlier this week before we ended. The similarities there because it, you know, it was originally me. Dub, Brandon, and mm -hmm. the situation with Brandon, it would have been like on 
if me and Dub just start going on videos like, oh, Brandon ain't this, Brandon ain't that, just talking yeah. down to him. Because yeah, we never waiting. did that because at the end of the day, I was got to be playing because I never. Because <laughs> it was one of those things where it's like, you know, our situation is our situation. And, exactly. You right. know, and anybody that even had something negative to say about it or whatever, we, we shut that shut down. Shut it down. You mm-hmm. feel me? Because at the end of the day, he was still there from the jump. You know what I'm saying? It's just whatever situation he's going through, he's going through. And we hope, you know, it's better for him. But the reason why I bring up the similarities is because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, Dub is the one that started the channel. Dub was the one with the original vision about it. And, you know, it did take me and Brandon a little bit longer to get it. But when we did get it, Dub could have easily been like, when the money started coming in, ah, nah, this is me. You know what I'm saying? This is don't don't worry about how much you getting. Don't worry about how much it make. How right. you know how much the brand is making? Like I started this, and he's never done that. You know what I'm saying? And it it shows the testament to just how he is as a person. Right. Like he was saying, because there's a lot of people. As you see this situation, people will be like, "Oh, my friend would never do that to me." And then something like this happened. Exactly. And now mm-hmm. he's trying to out you out on his own platform that you've helped build. And right. he's never looked at us on no Oof. on no situation where it's like ego trip for you real. Know, exactly, oh well, you know what I'm saying? I, I was the one that bought the cameras. I was the one that started editing first. So this is how it's gonna be. He was always, you know, wanting us to help right. out. He was always wanting us to do our own thing as well. But he wanted us to, you know, grind together. You feel me? So it's just one of those things when I was seeing that, I'm like, damn, bro. Like that's the similarities is there, but the only difference is Dub's not that type of person mm-hmm. where he'll Fact. he'll switch up just because oh now I'm making extra money because my name I start I started this you feel me and people like that you got to be careful of because there's always signs little little things that they say and do that you be like wait a minute it, it's a we thing you know what I'm saying not a you thing Facts. like we did this together we worked on this together we got yep. it to where we where it is now you know what I'm saying not mm-hmm. just only you so hey man kudos to you dub for appreciate just being it, that big stand up guy bro man, for real for real yeah, i'm a testimony these, to this cuz i met this guy from. what 2017 mm-hmm. and then i met these guys 2018 mm-hmm. and it's pretty much been the same vibe yep. ever since same right and i am not a coattail type of person mm-hmm. so i'm 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 a grinder so mm-hmm. when i Feel like I'm I, I'm about to grab somebody's coattail. I let them know, and they're like, you know, it'll kind of tell me what type of person they are based on that conversation. Mm-hmm. Right. Because I'm just that's just not me. But yeah. um, anyways, and the vibes but, was consistent when we met. Like, facts. Was, mm-hmm. We just hit it off. I mean, yep. it's the same way with a lot of people, man. It's just I feel like I, I feel energy. I'm real yep. big on people energy. Same, man. And I can feel when somebody energy is in a positive uh, place. Or when they mean well, mm-hmm. that is we don't do my, everything. My line right, right there, I feel I, I vibe off the energy, man. Yeah, because you don't you don't positive do movement game, man. So. Positive movement Fat. game, PMG. You know, PMG. You don't do everything the right way, but I just I'm always off intentions and your energy. Right. Mm-hmm. Like if you didn't intend to be harmful or say mm-hmm. something exactly. out of place because you may have been lacking the knowledge or something, uh, I'm not the type of person that's going ah that you should cancel. Right. Oh, you know, <laughs> you're like, canceled. We all human, bro. We all got to learn. Exactly. You know? mm-hmm. Facts. Um, but yeah, nah, that's that's a real thing, bro. Yeah. And it's like, that's just testament to show, you know, we all trying to make it. We yep. all got different Facts. visions, but we share the same dream. That's that's always been the quote that I've always had for the longest, bro. And we, we do see life different, but we all, yeah. I never met one person that said they don't want to be successful or comfortable. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So I, that's at least one yeah. thing that I say we all <laughs> share as humans is we just want to be comfortable Mm -hmm. you know so when you have knowledge when you have something i always feel like what's the use of your talent if you just hold it in and you don't spread or or having funds and you don't share it like what's the point Mm -hmm. it's only so much you can't take the shit with you nope (laughs) you really can't you know and so at the end of the day bro we just always want to spread love and be that same goddamn God do it. damn it so, Duh. Yeah. You feel me <laughs> That's been episode 46 Preacher man, man. Preacher hey. man Hope y'all enjoyed it man For real uh, We gonna get into Some more dope stuff Deep stuff mm-hmm. But we just want y'all To rock out with us Tell us what y'all loving It's about. only the, the beginning hating. It's only the beginning bro More is on the way But it's only Big one facts. way To go And that's up You feel me Facts In the clutch Hey Already Woo